Okay, hello everybody. I have just spent the last month uh, working on this course right here, this Node.js and and Mongo Driver course. Um, at the end of 2025, going into 2026, using as of this date here uh, is uh, beginning of September, using all the latest uh, Node and Mongo Driver stuff. Um, basically what this course is is about creating if you've ever used a mongoose it's about creating your own micro mongoose like li libraries uh, we have schema validation and casting libraries in there uh, we have libraries that can integrate with your web socket and your rest apis in there um, and i'll show you a little bit of that code here in a minute and an example like full stack web app that can send payloads to each one of those to get some sort of result so if you're just getting into node.js uh, and you're getting into mongo I, this is this is a great uh great kit um it's basically a full-fledged kit to to get everything up and running like as a full stack web development kit here and I'll, I'll actually show you exactly what what is in it so this is the actual web app uh that connects both to a rest api and a web socket and we're capable of building out json objects here or payloads and if the the payload is bad it'll tell you down here like invalid json um and well that's all it does uh, and we can paste our payloads into there and i'll show you in a minute let's go ahead and start our rest api and our websocket and i'll show you exactly what's in this course and what it does okay so i am going to head over to my back in here i'm just going to light up our websocket and i am going to light up our rest api and you can see that there's a uh, uh, Mongo 2 is a little micro library that has certain functionality. So the REST API does management stuff and the WebSocket does a whole bunch of other stuff and it uses the Mongo like uh, a version three of our library. Okay. There's also like the schema stuff and validation and casting as well library for that and a data imports library included in this full kit. Okay. And you can see some of the commands right here. I believe this is for the WebSocket stuff, but we are going to start with the REST API. So the REST API has one route that's geared towards, um, like if you want to build like administration interfaces. Um, so the whole Mongo2 uh, library here that it uses um, is geared towards that, like listing databases, adding databases, dropping databases, adding collections and dropping collections. Okay. So how can we use this? What is this good for? Um, well, let's say we start with the rest api so basically i want to like list databases okay we can come over to here and we can switch this over to rest api here and i can say let's run this query here or send this payload that is going to give me this here it's going to tell me that i have one database in there called mongo course with collections accounts and articles so let's go ahead and add another database and we'll call this hello world 2 actually i think i don't have hello world in there so let's go actually create this just to show you that this is working okay so i can drop into here and we will run this add database here and see if we can get the hello world database let's send that off and there we go so we are sending little payloads and that's what this course is all about all that code is on the back end uh there's videos for it over here i'm going to log show you exactly what this is going on here so when you get this course you have access to this streaming thing here i just spent a lot of time rebuilding the full um the full interface here with the like video playback etc 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 so there's nine videos packed full of, full of stuff and a huge amount of code uh, that you get with the download the download is a zip with all the videos and all of the source um so this is a great little thing each one starts off like this and you know you click through this and you can kind of see what's going on there and what we're doing but it is packed full of uh Mongo stuff basically okay. and Node.js. Uh, there's a little bit of the code there, uh, but yeah, it works really well. You switch through videos and it plays streams back, but very well. So that's also part of that course. You get the whole video streaming um, uh, environment, just like you would with Udemy or anywhere else. It's all hooked up to Stripe, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, just test out to make sure everything all works and what it's like using the WebSocket API. You can see that the REST API was geared towards management stuff with Mongo. Let's just take a look at some of the stuff that the WebSocket API does, okay? So we're going to head over to here and we'll take a look at some of our test payloads that we have here. Um, and let's just take a look at some of the operations we can do in here. One of the things we're going to go over is aggregation. So let's just let's just start with this one. So um, 
what's really in this course is like uh well all of these functionalities up here for the uh websocket stuff we're going to talk about purging counting documents inserting documents inserting many find find one find one with projections projections for many documents updates update one uh find one and update okay there is a difference and we go over that in the course deleting documents delete one and then this aggregation which is great for like paging using facets we go over that kind of thing so we can actually send that payload now just to give you an example of what's in here um i'll go grab that i'm going to go down to our payload for the aggregation okay and i'll show you kind of what we get back for this kind of thing here so i'm just going to pop this make sure i'm on the website here and pop this payload into here Okay, uh, hopefully I'd, um, it's actually, you might have to, let me refresh this. We'll say connect there, and then I'll send this off and send it. Okay, so there we go. And what do we get back in this kind of thing? We get like the, the, the pages is going to be 47. You get a nice little status here that gives you the 1 through 10 of 470 filtered documents. Our filter would be this tags right here, right, of 1,001 total documents. Okay, Um out of our articles collections in our db mongo there uh we also go over getting you all installed with mongo and secured so that you can connect to it like you know if you want to stay local you can but we also go over let's encrypt and getting mongo uh hooked up with let's encrypt stuff so that you can connect uh securely if you want to from like your local host to a server uh in uh studio 3t's community edition here and you can see that like in this mongo course we add some collections um, and one of them is articles that we will be also have a library to import a bunch of test data with and we go over that as well. Um, so that's it. It's packed full of stuff. I think the biggest thing is going to be all of that source code that's there. I can show you a little bit of the schema source code that we have as well. Uh, that's going to look like this where we develop a like a little schema library that you can add you know schemas too like the article schema and the account schema so definitely check out the secret sauce video at the end um to see this article thing if you do take the course and don't see that right away so check out the secret sauce um that'll probably help you through the whole course too um if you do get this i'd really appreciate it uh helps me do this stuff it's uh it's only 15 bucks put a lot of time and effort into it but i think all the source code in the videos is is worth it i think the platform um is definitely very cool. I love building things around business ideas. So this is my first real shot at that. Uh, but I think it, it all came together really nice. Um, so, so real quick, how, how would you go about getting this? I'm just going to log out of this account, which already has that purchase. Basically, um, if you log, it's all hooked up with Google, it's safe, secure, whatever. Um, I'm going to log in with this other account here, logged in with Google gives me a little profile up here. Uh, it's all hooked up to Stripe. Say, I want to grab this. There you go. So, I don't see any of your private information, any of that. It's all done through third-party uh, professional uh, sites. Uh, this site's going to be here to stay for a while, and I'm going to be working on my next product at this point or idea and things like that and be doing things on YouTube because I love putting free content out on YouTube as well. Um, so, yeah, that is that. Um, but it's definitely worth it if uh and this downloads too if you guys don't want to use the web platform i'll show you real quick let me log back into the, the one that has this purchase already um which would be my account um i'm just going to say download here and you'll get about everything is in that 1.7 gig so there's a whole the whole full stack kit is in there everything that you see with this payload stuff the whole uh web socket server the rest api etc and everything um and just to go over real quick what this test data looks like um you can see kind of some of the stuff we'll be doing we'll be sending for payloads and going over okay uh that's it um so well see you guys next time